A few months ago, I asked myself, uh, how many chords are there? And if I had all the chords, what would that sound like? Uh, I, I came up with an answer, and this is a video about that answer. So a chord, this would be one or more notes from the chromatic scale, uh, chords like C major. But this also includes other collections of notes that maybe don't sound like chords, but they just sound kind of like dissonant globs of sound. These are still chords. Uh, just because it doesn't sound like musical or harmonious uh, doesn't mean that it's not a chord because that quality of being tonal, that quality of being harmonious is more about the relationship between chords. Any one chord can be described harmonically, tonally, whether it sounds like that or not. Uh, more depends on these relationships. So for the purpose of this, it's just a collection of one or more notes. Uh, what is important though is that, for example, here, these are not different chords. Even though these are different notes on staff paper, these would be different notes, different keys of the piano, they are the same collection of C, E, and G. And that makes all three of these examples just count as one chord. So definitions aside, what, how, how many chords are there? So if it's a collection of one or more notes, we can split this problem into uh, 12 categories. There's the one note chords, the two note chords, the three note chords, all the way down to the 12 note chord. And when we're choosing these chords, we're choosing from a collection of 12 notes. There are 12 pitches in the chromatic scale. This is a combinations problem, and you can solve it using some formulas about how many combinations of things to choose from. And uh, so, so here's that math. If you, if you apply that combinatorial thinking to all of these groups, and then you add it all together, you get 4,096 chords. Uh, that's the answer. There's 4,096 chords. So we finished the first question, how many chords are there? Uh, and on to the next question, what would every chord sound like? If we went one, two, three, four, all the way to 4,096, uh, what would that sound like? And this is like, this, this is where uh, the problem is actually quite beautiful, quite elegant. Uh, 4,096 is the same as taking two and multiplying it by itself 12 times. It's two to the power of 12. And whenever you have two uh, with an exponent above it, this actually tells us that uh, we can think in binary terms. Uh, binary, uh, binary numbers is a great way for us to derive chords, to generate chords algorithmically. A binary number is a number that is expressed by a one or a zero. One or a zero, a AKA two, like two different options, a binary option. And this is how you would count binary. Instead of going one, two, three, four, you would have here like, this is one in binary, or maybe it's zero in binary. This is zero in binary, this is one in binary, this is two in binary, this is three in binary. There's probably better ways to explain what binary is, but maybe you can Wikipedia that. The idea is that when you have it in binary form, counting up the numbers maps really easily onto a keyboard. Just imagine that every digit of a binary number uh, corresponded to a key on the keyboard. So here's one in binary, and that one digit will slot into B. And then we have one zero, that one in the second digit column will slot into B flat or A sharp on the screen. And then a zero just means there's no, there's no uh, note there. And so next we have 1-1, one, one, which would be A sharp and B, and then we would have A, and, and C, I'm just counting up binary-wise, and it very systematically is going to touch on every combination of these keys. And so if you do this all the way to 4096, the uh, binary number for 4096 is one 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 twelve times. Uh, it's either 4096 or 4095. I don't remember, but maybe I'm off by one, whatever. Uh, so yeah, 
And once you have 12 ones, that is the 12 note chord. This is a, a one note chord, this is a 12 note chord, and everything in between is all combinations. So how do you make that, uh, how did I make that into something that we can hear? Uh, I used a program called Open Music. It's a way of using algorithms to generate uh, MIDI, or you can generate a lot of things, but it's a, it's a way of making music using algorithms. Uh, this is my little open music patch that did all that binary math for me, as well as sorting it uh, in a way that I wanted to. And then here's this another part of the patch where there's my little binary counter, the one we saw earlier, and it's going whoop into this little area that makes our little MIDI notes. And uh, when I clicked play, uh, and then we, we, we got our notes, and, and, and this is what it sounded like. So uh, I won't play the whole thing because that's actually on, uh, this is a video on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, but this is a little video about that video, about how answering, whoop, how many chords are there and what they all sound like. Thanks.